Good afternoon and welcome to the latest edition of the Stargate Sci-Fi called Classics Documentary. I'm delighted this evening to be joined by the one and only Peter Fleming, who played the role of Agent Malcolm Barrett in uh, Stargate uh, SD-1. I suppose, Peter, going back now, Stargate, uh, dare I say, back in the early uh, 2000s and such, does it almost feel like a, a lifetime ago now? Does it almost feel like... Um, a different alternate dimension does almost feel like travel. You have to go back in time travel to sort of remember those days. Well, it is an alternate dimension, Jim. It is time travel. That's what Stargate's all about, right? That's true. Uh, but uh, to answer your question, it all depends. Some days, Jim, some days it feels like it was yesterday. And then other days it does. It feels like a different portal, you know, like uh, um, so. The times that it feels like it was yesterday, if I'm on Instagram, for example, and I'm talking to somebody about Stargate and, and they post, uh, you know, a scene from Barrett and, uh, and uh, Amanda, um, and I, I just, I watch it, I'm, I feel like I'm there. And other times it does, it feels like, you know, another lifetime ago. And Peter, growing up as a teen, were you always a sort of a, a sci-fi sort of fan? Were you a tricky sort of fan? Were you into that dark sort of genre? Was that the sort of acting or were you more action sort of Arnold Schwarzenegger? Was that the sort of movies and TV series that aspired you? I wasn't a, uh, I wasn't a sci-fi guy. Okay. No, I wasn't. Um, I, growing up as a, as a teen, um, I didn't even want to be an actor till I was probably in my late teens. Yeah. I remember watching uh, Tom Cruise and Top Gun. Yeah. And I was between school and taking this and you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I remember sitting there watching Top Gun, Tom Cruise. I said, I can do that. I can do that. And so, you know, here we are, you know, many years later, but I remember that moment. Um, but growing up, I was, uh, I was into uh, sports. I was a sports guy, Jim. Um, not that not that great in school. Uh, good with the ladies, not too bad, not too bad, and good with sports. Um, and then uh, you know those the sports uh, launched uh, went from sports into acting. Um, I think I liked the, the the competition of it, you know, at, at at that point. And and so I went and put on my leather jacket, went and found myself an agent. And shortly after that, I got my first uh, commercial a lotto commercial and uh and then the rest is history i got a couple of small parts uh where i grew up in halifax nova scotia which is much closer to uh to your roots than out here in vancouver uh, but uh yeah i did a few small parts there and then got on a plane and went to new york and stayed in new york you know i was uh, i was an elvis impersonator i know this is going extending off of your question but I was an Elvis impersonator in uh, in New York. That's how I made my living there, and then uh, and then came out to Vancouver after that and started an acting career. And I suppose, uh, Peter, in terms of the original Stargate movie in 1994 with uh, Kirk Douglas and James Spader, uh, did you uh, that movie? And uh, what was your impression? Did you go to cinema theater at the time? Did you see I his I did see it. I did see it. I didn't think too much of it at the time, but I'm a pretty big uh, Spader fan. So I just, I like his sort of cool, you know, uh, nonchalant way of working. I, I always liked him. Um, interesting, you know, Kirk Russell, you know, he's a, he's a sports guy as well. So I found it, uh, I thought he was great in it. Um, but to me, honestly, it wasn't, uh, it was just, it was another movie. Yeah. You know, it was another movie. Uh, trust me, I've, I've been to enough conventions uh, sci-fi, you know, SG-1 conventions, and and I've been, I've talked to enough fans over the years where I'm not even close to a, to a sci-fi fan. I mean, I, I'm sure you're in the same ballpark, but, you know, you guys live, breathe, and, and sleep, and, and eat it, you know, um, and I, and I totally, totally respect that. Um, I wish that I had that conviction for something. I really, I really don't. I'm more of a jack of all. Uh, I like a little bit of everything. Um, but uh, yeah, to answer your question, uh, yeah, I guess I guess that's it. Yeah, I suppose, uh, Peter, were you based in Vancouver at the time when the original SG-1 series uh, came about when they were looking for uh, people? 
back in uh, year one with uh, when Richard Dean Anderson and Amanda Tatt, or was it later on that you arrived in Vancouver when there were two or three seasons in? It's a good, good question, Jim. I think it was right around the time. I mean, I, I don't know. You, you would know the dates of that better than I would. I, Barrett came in in what season? Uh, episode one hundred, right? Season six. Yeah. Is that right? Um, so I came out to Vancouver in the mid mid nineties. So I probably came out right around the time when when SG one was happening, just starting to happen. And I suppose, uh, Peter, it was a big project in terms of Vancouver at the time. It was uh, oh, huge yeah. in terms of that. And you got you landed the role of uh, Agent Malcolm Barrett. Did you try out for other roles beforehand in terms of Stargate uh, SG1? Had you tried out for I, d- I think I had one audition before that, Jim. Um, but yeah, SG1 on the map, it, it put Vancouver on the most. Well, first, uh, X-Files put Vancouver on the map. And then, you know, SG1 just piggybacked off that and and just you know Star- made, what's that Star galactica is another one to come from that area of, of course yeah i was in that as well um but a funny story let me let me tell you this quickly about uh about agent barrett so right around the time when um when i auditioned for barrett uh, i was just starting to get my first few leads in films right and so you got to play that game with the agents and the casting directors. So at the time, my, I remember my agent calling me. I remember that like it was yesterday. He said, Peter, he said, they want to see you for Stargate. Now, it's only a few lines, but, you know, it might be recurring. You know, there's that always that possibility, but it's just a few lines. So, you know, if you'd like to go in for it, I, I think you should, you know, but if you'd like to go in for it, you know, it's, it's up to you. But just, you know, let me know. And of course, when you get a few leads in film, us actors, our egos get a little bit inflated. And then we hear, that, oh, it's, it's just for a couple lines. Well, I don't. But something told me inside, no, you got to go. You got to go. And so it wasn't Agent Barrett at the time. It was just Man in Black. That, that's what the other, NID, Man in Black. That, that's all it was. And I'll never forget being in the room. And uh, I don't know if I knew Del- Peter DeLuise. I, I think I might have met him in in that audition and you know we became you know good much good friends after that he directed many of my episodes uh but at the time it was two lines i never forget i'm in there and it's like i forget i forget what the audition was but it was just sort of i was kind of in and out but i remember that look on delawise like he was just kind of you know all right all right that's uh you know that's 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 good that's good i like that i like that i was like all right thanks you know and then i get a call you know, shortly after you got the part and then um, and then worked with with Peter on episode 100, the uh, the great episode 100. Um, and then, you know, they liked me and the rest is history. I suppose that uh, Peter, your character, um, Agent uh, Barrett, uh, in terms of the shooting, in terms of location, it was very much uh, off uh, outside sort of shooting, outside sort of locations you your character was never really on the set of um sg1 in terms of the actual stargate itself so in terms of shooting and production where did you most of your scenes were shot well exactly because i mean i was in in charge of earth right obviously so i mean you know there wasn't too much jumping around for me uh, most of my stuff was just local you know it was in the, the studio you know over at mgm uh and uh in Vancouver. And then, uh, you know, we did some, some location, you know, some location stuff. Uh, but all, yeah, all my stuff was local. And, and as you know, mostly with, uh, with Carter, you know, with Amanda and, uh, yeah, lots of, lots of great memories of, uh, of just being on that set, you know, that set out of all the sets I've been on, that set was magic. It really was like everybody from, Everybody, you know, from the, the grips to, to the costumes, to hair, to, to the directors, to the, to the ADs, you know, catering. It was just, I don't know, it was just all so seamless. Seamless. I was just, uh, just such a beautiful set to, to go to and, and to work on. And Amanda and I, Amanda and I and Peter had a lot of fun. We, the three of us were 
together a lot in in the scene in the episodes that I did. Yeah, and uh, Peter, in terms of uh, working on Stargate uh, SG One and having that on your CV and your resume in terms of credits, um, does that open up more opportunities as an actor when you're going for roles in your talent agent that push you forward for different roles and put your name in? And when they look at you and they see Stargate that uh, you've been involved in Stargate and uh, you can have that on your show reel and stuff like that, does it open up more opportunities? It sure does. Yeah, I mean, it's Vancouver's. Uh... It's a pretty small, it's a pretty small town, you know, when it comes to comes to acting. I mean, the people that work, everybody, you know, knows one another. And and, you know, I mean, you know, let's face it. I mean, if you're working right, then you get more street cred and then, you know, you get more auditions and and, you know, they trust you more. And, you know, you've you've, you've done more work so they can they can count on you for being there and and, you know, doing what you need. And so, yeah, it all kind of it all kind of works together that way you know that uh, the agents you know then you push you for bigger roles and you know you get more opportunities and you know that's how that's how it works yeah i suppose that uh, peter what was your interpretation of the agent sort of barrett sort of character you said originally it was man in black but when you saw the script then it became a sort of recurring role what was the sort of um twist that you want to put on it what did you what sort of way did you want to make it your own and such it's a great question. As you asked me that question, Jim, I'm thinking of one of my Instagram Stargate followers who uh, put it so perfectly. You know, she, she said, you know, I've never, I've never seen somebody um, uh, embody a, a, a character like you did with a combination of sort of deadpan straight, but humorous at the same time. You know, and I think, I think Agent Barrett is just a large reflection of who I am as a person, you know, I don't go for the, you know, big jokes or whatever. I'm, I sort of, you know, play it flat, but in, in that sort of flatness, there's, you know, there's the facial expressions, as you can see, and then there's, you know, some of that uh, little bit of downplayed, downplayed humor. So I think, you know, Agent Barrett to me was, he needed to be, you know, that guy in charge, obviously, he's the head of the NID, you know, so you, he needed to be you know, a respected character, but within that, you know, the guy had a lot of play too. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of fun. I can remember, uh, I'm trying to think, I remember this one scene Amanda and I did. Oh, what? Damn it, I can't think of it. Well, I didn't go all crazy on your ass or something. I'm like, I, she was like, uh, it was the jail cell. We did the interview in the jail cell and coming out of the jail cell, I'm like, well, hey, that went pretty good, huh? She goes, well, you could done, you know, you could have done this, you could have done that. I was like, well, I, I didn't see you doing anything crazy. Or I, I, I can't remember, but you get what I'm saying. There's that, there's that play between Amanda and I, and I think Amanda's a similar person as well, where you know she's got, she's in charge, you know, she's got that straight ahead, you know, character. But you know, we allowed we allowed each other to play within our within our uh, kind of headstrong characters, which I thought was really neat. I thought that was really neat. You know, in fact, so neat, they talked about Amanda and I having our own show for a while. I don't know if you were aware of that, but this show called Atlantis, I think it is, Stargate Atlantis, um, I think that came out instead. But we were in the mix. We were in the mix for our own, uh, for our own show. I suppose, uh, Peter, uh, just a quick word on that Instagram page. It's uh, Peter B. Fleming. Uh, do sort of check it out. Do like and uh, subscribe. Yes. That. Everybody, everybody that's listening, all you Stargators out there, please come and visit me on, uh, on Instagram. Uh, if you know anybody that follows me, you know, they'll probably tell you that I enjoy talking with the fans and, and hearing all the stories and, and posting. So, yeah, Peter... Instagram or is Instagram.com slash Peter B. Fleming, F-L-E-M-M-I-N-G. Come and we'll talk there. Okay. I thought, uh, Peter, the last sort of question before I let you go on, probably the hardest question uh, in terms yeah. of this so far. Let's pretend they put your character agent Malcolm Barrett into Stargate Encyclopedia, okay? A dictionary as such. And they left two blank sentences underneath. And they asked you, Peter Fleming, having portrayed the role of Agent Malcolm Barrett, 
to write those two sentences to sum him up. What would you like him to read? What would you like them to read? That is a great question. A little heads up on that would have been just great too, Jim. I'm teasing, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. No, um, Agent, to... Agent Bear. <laughs> what? Go ahead. What? Most people give a paragraph, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Agent Bear. Um, somebody you can count on and have, and have a laugh with at the same time you can count on and have a laugh with at the same time. One sentence uh, to sum up, sum up the man himself. Uh, Peter Fleming, an absolute pleasure talking to you uh, this evening to relive your memories of playing Agent Malcolm Barrett in uh, Stargate uh, SG1. And uh, no doubt uh, future, future roles may be on the horizon for you in terms of uh, the Stargate or the universe going forward. Rumors are there more Stargate projects uh, in the pipeline. And uh, no doubt we could see a recurrence of the agent uh, Malcolm uh, Barrett role. And uh, again, do uh, subscribe and check out Peter's Instagram page, uh, Peter B. Fleming. Uh, but for the moment, Peter, we wish you a prosperous uh, Christmas and Happy New Year. And uh, uh, we wish you all the best. And hope, please, God, say 2021 will be a busy time for you and, and your loved ones. Thank you, Jim. And to, uh, I guess this is, is going to uh, all the Irishmen in... Uh, in your homeland, right? I mean, I don't know if this is uh, sort of traveling around the world, but uh, hello to uh, hello to Ireland as well. Uh, Peter, cheers and uh, take care. Thank you, Jim.